Hi, ninth grade. It's me again. And I wasn't following close enough with the schedule to realize that today you do two lessons. And so that's my bad. Sorry about that. There are two videos here and hopefully you're watching this video first. I'm going to put watch first in um, your today's lesson. But I did record the video for 10.3, the lesson 10.3. So let me tell you how this is. When you do two lessons, there's a couple pages you do two lessons. When you do two lessons, unless there's a quiz, a quiz you have to do the whole thing or the test you have to do the whole thing. But if you have two lessons like today, you're doing 10.3 and 10.4, you do the first problem of every section. Except the new part. The new part you'll have to do the whole thing. Okay, so 10.3, if you haven't watched that video, it will explain the new part, but then you only do the first part of all the review, the first question in each one. Normally you're doing two, and when you do two lessons, you'll just do one of each lesson. Is that clear? Okay, so today we're talking in lesson four, we're just kind of switching all around or jumping around, it's a whole different thing. We are grasping absolute values of inequalities. And, and what I'm gonna tell you on the board is all explained in the book, okay? So if you get finished here with me and you say, hmm, Hmm, it's still confusing because it is confusing unless you get it riveted in your head real well you won't get it right every time when do you make the circle solid when do you let it open yeah which way do you draw the arrows uh, the absolute value is always has two answers you have a negative and a positive okay so when you have like the way they're doing it here when they have the X uh, yeah, let's just start with number one. And the best way for me to do it is just simply um, do the problem. So I copied number one on the board. You have, I copied the problem on the board. X, inequality, one. Okay, because this is absolute value, it can be one positive or one negative. So if you, you're to draw a line graph, okay? And so, um, let me see here, how should I do this? Yeah, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just do it. I'm gonna just, this is one, and there's, I'm not going to draw all of them. This is going to be one negative. Okay, I guess I could put zero right here if you wanted it. There's zero. Now, this inequality is going to tell me that from here, okay, it doesn't have the line underneath of it, so it's not solid. It's open, and it's going to tell me that my arrow needs to go from the one, it's going to go out. Okay, so here we go. The arrow goes that way from that one, and this way for this one. So you make your circles and draw your arrow accordingly. Okay, now if you look at number two, we almost have the same example except this inequality is going toward the 10 versus here it was going out away. Okay, so we're going to draw the line again and I'll just put 10 here and I guess we'll put zero here and I'll put 10 negative there. Okay? Because 10 is the absolute value of 10 so there's two numbers. Now, because the arrow went out, here it's bringing them in. Okay? It doesn't have the line underneath here so our circles are supposed to be open. Oh, I didn't draw a circle there, I draw a line. What am I doing there? Open circle. It's an open circle. And the arrows should go like this, toward each other. Oh, I guess, I don't know. Let me see, sorry, I don't even have, I don't think you need it. I need an arrow. It's just a connection. I should just draw a connection from side to side. I don't need the arrow because it's not an indefinite number. It's from positive 10 to negative 10. Okay, uh, let's do number three. Now, because I have the line underneath of the, that means it's going to include seven. Okay, so again, I draw my line, and I'll put a seven positive. Here's my zero, and oh, there I did it. Keep forgetting, seven negative. Okay, and this one's gonna be solid. I'm gonna draw this one solid. He's gonna have a closed circle. Not sure what terms I'm using. I might use the wrong one. I'm not sure. It's uh, seven. So I have a closed circle. Now, which way do I draw the arrow? 
the arrow is going like this. So do I go from point to point, or do I go out away? Okay, it's not real hard. Think about it. I'm starting at seven and I'm going out. So here we go. Arrow. Arrow. And it's blank in between. Okay. Uh, you, I don't know how to tell you this other than it's just going to take uh, practice and it's just going to need to get rivets in your hand to look at. Oh, number four, I'll do so and so. Uh, let me see. The line means a solid color. Uh, the, the open means this way, means that way. You will need to get it in your head. And if you forget, that's no problem. Just look back in the book. It explains it well there. Okay, I'm ready for number four, and I have 25. I have 25, so again, I'll just make a little, there's no need making, this is zero, there's no need making a long string of lines, I'll just put 25 positive here, and over here is 25 negative. Because I'm doing absolute values, it's, it's not hard. There is no line, so this is an open circle. Open circle, the next question we need to know is, do the arrows do cut them together? Or did they go out? Okay, which way does it tell you? It looks to me like they're coming in. So I'm going to draw a line. Connect them. You agree with me? Check out the book. If you don't, well, be sure to text me. Uh, number five. Oh, yeah, here we go. Number five is equal. Okay. Watch out. That's a little twist. We are not in equality here. So, okay, well, I'll draw a zero. And so I've got five here. I'll draw this circle here. This is on five. And here's five negative. Number five is five. Hey, how do you like that? And I'll draw the circle here. I don't know. Should it be closed? Or should it be open? Who knows? Oh. Well, which way should the arrow go? Equal. There'll be no arrow. Okay, it's absolute value of five. Okay, should I close it or open it? Check the book. There's no arrow, but should I close it or should I let it open? Oh, I'm not sure if you've got any of those, do you? The very first one, the very first one, and the circles are open or closed. Huh? You look at the example and tell you we don't know, or I know you don't know. There we go. And number six is zero inequality. Okay, here we go. So I've got zero. Uh, draw my line again right here is zero. As a matter of fact, that's where the circle is going to be. The circle is going to be around zero. Is it open or closed? Well, there's no line, so it's open. It's an inequality. Uh, oh, which way will it go? Will it come into the zero? Well, then it would be nothing. It would just be a plain open circle. No, it's going out. So your arrow is going to go this way. It's going out from zero both ways. Absolute value is zero, there's no negative or positive, so you don't have to draw a two. All right, you have fun again. Uh, don't uh, look at this video first, and if you looked at the other one first, I'm sorry, you're gonna be in trouble. But anyhow, do the first part of each section of 10.3 and 10.4, and then we'll double up again. And when we do quizzes, you'll have to do all the quizzes, but if we double up, you'll do the first part, first problem of every section. Uh, have fun doing the rest of your work, and I'll catch you later.